Wow. Look at all this beer. <laughs> this is a great cover shot. Yeah, I know, right? In this edition of Fantasy by the People, we are on location. It's a special edition, of course, because it's a special week. It's the divisional round of the playoffs, which everybody knows is the best week. And to join me, I have two special guests. Well, I should say I have one very special guest and another guest. One, we have Charlie, because we're in my apartment. And also from behind the camera, it's Ravi, the producer, here for this special edition of Fantasy by the People. Now, we asked you all, what is your favorite drink to... You can just keep rolling into what it. What is your favorite beer to drink during an NFL game? And you guys sent in a lot of beers and we're gonna taste them here. Uh, we have a lot of beer to drink, so you know what? Let's no more playing around, let's get started. The first one comes in from at NK underscore Geyer, and he says Stella, so he can continually drink them. Now, this is an interesting choice, because I don't think like Stella is a great beer, but he's got a good philosophy here, which means, you know, he's gonna have to drink a lot of them during a game. So, Ravi, let's get let's get rolling here. We're gonna I like how that after kitty cup. Well, you know, we wanna be sanitary. That's also, good. that's a good point. We're sampling the beer. It's All like right. a wine tasting. It is like a wine tasting. Stella. His point here, N.K. Geyer, Nicholas Geyer, he says he's gonna be drinking a lot of them. And listen, if you're gonna be sitting all day on the couch, smashing a bunch of beers, or you're out at a local tavern, you don't wanna be having like 10 IPAs or you're gonna get loaded, bloated, fat, you're not gonna to wanna to smash the 20 chicken wings too. If you're gonna eat a lot and you're gonna be there all day, still is a fine beer to pace yourself with. So don't be a hater, just enjoy it. Next one we have, this comes in from at Curtis Michella. I've met him in person too, and I don't remember how to pronounce it. Anyways, he says, Golden Road Brewery Wolf Pup Session IPA, and this is a great choice. Golden Road is local, right? It is local. A lot of you guys submitted beers that are out of state, which unfortunately we were not able to make those requests happen. Them being, you know, local, does that mean they're like a sponsor of our local football team? Do you know what our local football team is called? It's hurtful. The Rams. What about the other LA teams? So, cares about nobody the really cares about them, no, so. The Chargers don't even care about the Chargers. Right, so, yeah. To the Rams. To the Rams. I like oh, this Oh, I love that. Good smooth drink. I mean, it's light enough that I think you could pound a bunch of these yes. while watching the game. Well, that's why if you're going to be drinking a lot of IPAs, you want to get yourself a nice session IPA like this because it's a little lighter, not going to be smashing a 6.8, 8.6 type of 6.9 even beer percentage. You don't want that. You, you want to be able to drink a lot of them. So a session IPA like this is a good choice. This one comes in from at Sully Football, and he says Dale's Pale Ale. My hot take here is that Dale's Pale Ale might just be the best beer of all time. Really? And here's why. I've never heard of it. So Dale's, it's not like the, you know, the best tasting beer or whatever. Wait, you got somewhere to be? No, I'm just checking your audio level, sorry. Dale's Pale Ale, it's not like it's the best tasting beer, it's the most hoppy, anything like that, but it's versatile. It can work in a number of different situations, which I think is important for a beer. If you want to get a nice draft out at a bar, you can do that. If you want to be out on a boat in the sunshine, it works there too because it's light enough. It's perfect for all occasions. It's classy enough that you can impress your friends with Dale's, but it's also, you know, again, versatile enough that you're out on a golf course, you're out in the sun somewhere, you can have a Dale's. We were going to do it right here in this apartment for the NFL playoffs. I'm so glad that I got a six pack of this one because I, I, I'm, I love Dale's. Okay. All right, here we go. Cheers. A lot riding on this. I hate to admit when you're right, I really do. Oh, wow. My ex-wife said the same thing. Wow. <laughs> That's actually really good, like generally a good beer. I'm just gonna keep drinking. And this one comes in from at Ravi underscore Ram. That's you. you. You got you got a beer in this segment? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh my god. That's a great beer, too. You're getting an on-camera appearance. You're getting your beer suggested. Why don't you tell us about the beer that you picked? So this is an Allagash. What's nice about this beer, once they've done the beer process, they put it in whiskey barrels to add a whiskey flavor oh. taste to it. It also does this great thing where it increases the alcohol content level to a whopping 11%. So you don't want to be drinking uh, like four of these. No, so this is uh, watching the late game, you know, maybe third, fourth quarter, you know, depending on where your brain's at, winning, losing, take this guy out, have a couple, forget the whole day. So say you're a Cowboys fan when you're getting stomped in the fourth quarter by our LA Rams, maybe you crack open one of these. 
cheese. There you go. Help yourself uh, get through the night. All right. I've never had this before, so I'm looking forward to trying your recommendation because you know I'm a harsh judge. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good. I definitely would only want to have like a few of these though. And that's what's dangerous about them is it's it's light enough that you could easily yeah take a couple back and then good luck to you. Good luck to you indeed. Good suggestion. This is first for us. You, I I admitted that your your Dale's um, beer was really good. Yeah, you actually didn't mess this up, which and is great. There you go. 2019, the year Ravi doesn't screw everything up. And next, this one comes in from at Adam Rank, our good friend. He says I'm a big fan of at Stone Brewing. Tropic of Thunder Lager. It's so great that you suggested this because of all the beers that were suggested, this is the one I already had in my refrigerator. Is it really? Or once again, on the same page, <laughs> me and my uncle Adam Rank, we are on the same page. I just bought a six pack of this last night. Had one, very good. My hot take is I think Stone is the best brewery in the game. Everything they make is pretty much clutch. This is their one of their latest additions and it is very good. So it's a good lager. We're taking a little break from the IPAs, the, uh, yeah, a lot of hops. See, now this is a beer. Damn! I know. Damn! <laughs> this is a beer I feel like you could sit there and drink six. You could crush a six pack up during an NFL Sunday. And this last one comes in from at CD Carter 13, which is a Twitter account that I don't think any of you should follow, but he is a wonderful man, but definitely don't follow. But follow his co-host at Late Round QB from the Living the Stream podcast. Definitely follow him. He's got good information. Denny, it's a chore to follow. I'm just kidding. I love you, Denny. But he sends in a gif of somebody just chugging a natural light. Are you a fan of Natty Light, Ravi? Nope. Me neither. Actually, just kidding. I, I love I loved Natty in college, but Denny, come on. I know you're into this whole uh, natty light business, but if you really want to own the libs and you're gonna drink Ugh. a cheap beer You gotta go with PBR man natty sure it's fine, but come on us real Americans We drink PBR coming out of Wisconsin. It's great. Look drink beer help artists in a way We're kind of artists, you know So we're gonna finish off our round of drinking here with a nice cheap easy to go down the hole PBR bottoms up big boy It's like water, but with bubbles. Also, real quick, you didn't drink this the American way. You just have shotgunned it? You're supposed to get a PBR and a, and shot? a shot. Well, let's That's save... the American way to do it. Let's save that for after we're done recording this. Good thing. idea. And we're going to close it out this week's edition of Fantasy by the People for the divisional round of the playoffs where we drank a lot of great beers. Some of you guys sent in some bad picks, but here's the message today that we want you all to take home. And it comes from our friend at underscore Jeff underscore Hicks underscore. That's a lot of underscores. His favorite beer is all the beer. So whatever you like to drink, don't let anybody shame you. Drink your IPAs, drink your stouts, drink your PBRs, drink your Natty Lights if you're a crazy ass clown like Denny. Just enjoy your beer, enjoy the playoff games, pick some winners, play some daily fantasy, have fun. Ravi, thanks so much for stopping thank by. You. Yes. We do, we, First time I've ever been here. We thank uh, Charlie for stopping by too, but he's, you know, he's a diva, he's way off camera. Thank you all for listening uh, and watching. Enjoy the playoff games. Enjoy your beers. Let's all have a good time.